Good afternoon and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris and today we are going to be looking at green screen chroma keying and Pinnacle Studios 24 Ultimate. So sit tight and get ready to watch. Okay guys, so picture if you would um, a green screen glove. Uh, I bought this off Amazon. Uh, it's chroma key compatible. It's thin stretch fabric and um, easily uh, maneuverable so when you put this on um it's you know pretty thin and pretty easy to wear and i got this on amazon and you can actually use this in chroma keying so when would you use it well we're going to show you um i'm not actually going to put it on but i'm going to show you how you make it transparent and say there's an individual wearing the green screen glove essentially it's going to when you use chroma keying you're going to remove that color so you're basically going to yield an arm that's missing, you know, part of it from the fingers down to the end. All right. And we'll show you that uh, briefly. All right. So if you were to wear, say, a chroma key hood, you can do the same thing and you can remove the head. If you were to use a chroma key green screen compatible um body costume you can do the same thing and they do make them so you can make yourself disappear so a lot of these are the different uh tricks and trades and tools and you can use with uh green screen and chroma keying so we'll show you how that works we can actually make these colors simply go away in the video editing process we won't get too technical with the terms but that's what we do so i'm going to start by putting on some other green material outfits and clothing and you'll notice what happens and this is how you can better understand the green screen okay so I'm back so what is it that you notice you probably notice that my hands up to my elbows are basically not showing and how do I accomplish this well actually the gloves that I'm wearing are not the exact color of the green screen but it is within the range that I can subtract out of the uh, video. So I'll take off one of my gloves here and you can see. I'll drop it. I'll take off the other glove and drop it. And now you see my hands. Okay guys and welcome back and we're in Pinnacle Studio 24 Ultimate and what we're going to be showing here is how to make a picture billboard with a picture on top. Okay, so we're going to be showing you the different uh, things we're going to be accomplishing with uh, green screen and chroma keying here in the Pinnacle Studios 24 Ultimate. And here's what we actually start with. So we start with this, um, and you can see the green here. And we'll show you the steps we take in order to accomplish this here, or any you know billboard or picture for that reason. Okay. Now the next step is to actually find the effect for chroma keying and this again is pinnacle studio 24 ultimate so we'll go up here to the fx we'll go to keyers and you'll simply find studio chroma here i'm going to go ahead and drag it and drop it right here now i'm going to want to edit it so i'm going to right click i'm going to go to effects i'm going to go to edit and edit studio chroma here and you'll notice that under the key color, you'll see a black. But we, in fact, want this color. Let's go here to select the preset because there should be a preset that allows me to select green. And I hit default. And what do you know? So the default key color is this green, which matches that um, of the billboard. And it removes that color. Now you see it's lined up to the right a little bit. I can in fact go ahead and go down to the image that is lined to the right a little bit because I can see here with a brief look that it's not filling the whole screen so I'll right click I'll go to scaling and I'll go to fill and you'll notice it expands and takes up the height and width of the billboard. Now the same thing could be done with video if you have a video billboard um, you can do the same exact thing. Remember that the green screen part is going to go on top and the image that's going to be behind it is going to be under. 
So you'll notice we have the actual video here that we would like to put over our other video to tell our viewers to subscribe. And the video below it is just some simple drone video I put in here. Okay, I can show you that track by turning this one off. And I want to put that subscribe to video on top of this. Now, how do I do that? So let me go ahead and enable um, this to show. I'm going to again go to our Keyers Studio Chroma Key. I'm going to drop it on top of this. All right. I'm going to go to right click, Effects, Edit, Studio Chroma Key. You notice it's black here, and that's under default, it's black. So I'm going to go ahead and select this turn on off keyframe and I'm going to tap it on here to select the color I want to take out. And ultimately we will finally get our subscribe button flying on over. The same is true when we want to bring in an animal per se. So let's say there is a nice big line or tiger or a bear or anything for that matter and we want to throw it into the background well how are we going to do it let's presume that this was not here before i'm going to delete the chroma keying that's on here so now you don't see the chroma keying all you do is you see a tiger walking okay and below it i put my background video. So I want to delete out this green screen. So again, I'm going to go to FX, Keyers, Studio Chroma Key. I'm going to drop it on here. Okay. I'm then going to go to right click, Effects, Edit, Studio Chroma Key. And again, you see the key color is black. I don't want it to be black. I want it to be Green. I'm going to select this so you see that color I'm going to hit then make that default and you see it now takes out the green and it leaves us with transparent background and we have our tiger just walking about the yard and this is how you basically create um, videos on top of videos putting people in places where they've never been. Uh, here's another example where you can put a tiger, you know, sitting down um, and so on. So Chroma King is quite easy in Studio um, 24 Ultimate. It's very similar to the previous ones and more or less you're going to be dealing with the function um, or effects here and the keyers, okay? and that's your studio chroma keying. You can use other um, effects within the chroma keying. For example, you have color tolerance, saturation, softness, transparency, spill suppression, but we're working with like pure chroma key um, or green screen background that was digitally created. So we don't have to worry too much about that. So we've gone through a couple things um, showing you the basics. If you have any questions on how to use green screen and chroma keying in Studio Pinnacle um, 24 Ultimate, let me know. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And please like and please share. And thanks again.